Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Word at One. And um, today it is going to be Psalm 65 that we have and uh, Barry has kindly recorded himself reading Psalm 65 for us. Um, and before we get to Barry, uh, just, you know, I don't know about you, but last night that was some storm, wasn't it? It was the loudest thunder I think I've ever heard in my life in the middle of the night. Um, and, uh, you know, car alarms were going off. Um, and, you know, sadly this morning there's reports of damage that's been done, flooding, um, schools are supposed to be reopening, not opening today. And um, I think there was a house in Falkirk set on fire by lightning. I mean, you know, that's that's terrifying. Um, and it just made me think of, uh, you know, that song. In fact, we sang it on Sunday, uh, What a Beautiful Name. And um, part of the, the, the line in that song is, the heavens are roaring the praise of your glory. And, you know, that was some roaring in the middle of the night, uh, certainly around here. And, um, you know, this psalm, it starts off by saying that um, praise is waiting for you, God, in Zion. And, you know, even the heavens, the very heavens are roaring the praises of God. Um, and a bit later on in the psalm, uh, it talks about the fact that, you know, as, as morning dawns and evening fades, that the Lord will call forth songs of joy. And it just made me think that, you know, even after an evening and a night of that terrible storm and, uh, you know, the, the flashes of lightning and roaring thunder that some people find quite frightening, um, uh, that morning still dawns and the evening will come, you know, later on. And, you know, the Lord is, is everlasting. You know, we've been um, hearing about that in certain other Psalms as well. And, you know, even in the midst of some of these things that can be quite frightening, we still have that assurance that the Lord will bring morning and evening and, you know, he is everlasting and we can we can trust him and we can fix our eyes on him. And this is another psalm that just talks about God's provision and in terms of nature, God's provision in nature um, and, in you know, seed time and harvest. And um, so uh, I'll just let um, Barry read it out to you now. Hi everybody, uh, I'd like to read a psalm of David, Psalm 65 today. O God in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O you who hear prayer, to you shall all flesh come. When iniquities prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the Father's seas, the one who by his strength established the mountains, being girded with might, who stills the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples, so that those who dwell at the ends of the earth are in all at your signs. You make the goings out in the mornings and the evenings to shout for joy. You visit the church, the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon tracks overflow with abundance. The pastures of your wildness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks. The valleys deck themselves with grain. And the shout sing together for joy. Well, thanks, Barry. Appreciate very much you taking the time um, to do that. And it's great just to have a, a variety of people getting involved. And yet again, just to put that out there for anybody in our church family, you know, please take a turn, please join in. It's just great for everybody to get a different view of different faces and um, a bit of a variety. Um, so I've got Ian White's version of Psalm 65 just coming in a wee minute. But before that, why don't we just have a prayer together? Lord Jesus, we just come before you today. And Lord, we thank you once again that we can trust you. Lord, that you are everlasting, from everlasting to everlasting. Lord, before the world was made, you were there. And Lord, you know, we can trust you in every circumstance, 
um, whether it's to do with the, this virus that's around, still around after the, all this time, um, Lord, or whether it's to do with natural occurrences like that thunderstorm last night. Whatever the circumstances are that come our way, Lord, we can trust you. And I just pray that you would just reinforce that to our hearts today, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would help us to submit and surrender ourselves before you again. Lord, all that we are and all that we have, we lay at your feet today. Lord, we give you our praise and our worship because you're worthy. Thank you, Lord. Be with us now, Lord, as we continue in our day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you all today and uh, we'll see you again really soon. Here's Ian White coming. Praise awaits you, God in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. Oh, you who hears prayer, to you all men will come. When we were overwhelmed by sin, you atoned for our transgressions. When we were overwhelmed by sin, you atoned for our transgressions. Blessed is the man who you choose And bring to live within your courts We are filled with all the good things All the good things of your house Of your holy temple When we were overwhelmed by sin you atoned for our transgressions When we were overwhelmed By sin you atoned For our transgressions You answer us awesome deeds of righteousness God our Savior, you're the hope Of all the ends of earth Form the mountains by your power Having armed yourself with strength We still the seas and all their roaring And the turmoil of the lands Those living far off fear your wonders the Morning dawns and evening fades Call forth songs of joy You care for the land and water it And you have made it rich The streams of God are filled with water To provide all men with corn For so you have ordained Drenched to furrows, level ridges Soften all the lands with showers And bless the harvest grain You crown the year with your bounty And your wagons on the floor Desert grasslands overflowing the hills are clothed with joy The flocks are on the meadows And the valleys fill with the corn They shout for joy and sing When we were overwhelmed By sin you atoned For our transgressions 